Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday the 24th of November. We've got some new mods, we've got some updates, and I'm going to get the exciting bit out of the way first. I'm going to be getting onto it hopefully later on. The map Chipping Norton by FS Landscaping, which is Diddly Squat Farm Clarkson's Farm, is out. I'll get onto that as soon as I possibly can. Updates for today. The map Fictal V2 by Lucas G. Uh, that says an update is not required or a new save game is not required. <laughs> Surely the update, do the update. A new save game is not required. The map Carpathian Countryside by Mr. Hector. Also, a new save game is not required. The map Campaign of France by Black Sheep Modding doesn't say if it needs a new save game or not. The John Deere series 8030 by Agrotonio. The Grimmer Evo 290 by Agrario. Crescetto SPL pack by DD Mod Passion, the Gutler Mediana pack by Rick Black Label TWD Modding, the Lizard Z240 PZZ6 by Zimoff, and the Curbstone set by Top Ace 888 have all had updates. In front of me, we have got the Pallet Shelter by, uh, sorry if I say this wrong, Schmiasiak? I hope that's right. 6.16 megabytes download, four slots on console, 25,000 to buy. You find it in the build mode, you'll find it in the sheds. Just there, slot count will come down to one. Here's a shed for storing things. Fairly straightforward. Nicely detailed. Go inside, we've got lighting. And that's that one. Pallet Shelter by Schmierschek. Next, we've got another set from DD Mod Passion. This is the E-Tunnel Double Straight Leg Arc. 1.66 megabytes download. These are four slots each. There are... How many are there? 12? I think of these. We have got 34 metre wide, which is this, this row here. We've got 36 metre wide, 38 metre wide. And then we go back in steps of 4.8 metre depth, 9.6 metre depth, 14.4 metre depth, and 19.2 metre depth. Uh, pallet and barrel storage, I've got a bit of everything in this one, as you can see. If we go through to the back, they all work exactly the same way. You click on that and you can pick whichever of the objects and however many you want to remove them. Do that. Let's put it into this one. Oh, there we go. It's right behind me. <laughs> I put these all too close together last time and it came out of one and straight into the next one. So I've separated these out. As you can see, different colour choices are available. I have only put colour, different colours on the first row. The rest are the same. So we'll jump up into the air, go into our silos and we'll start at this end just there. So, as I said, the first one is the 34 metre wide, 4.8 metre. That will hold 208. The... 9.6 meter, 364, 14.4 meter, 572 objects, and then the 19.2 is 884. Then we go to the 36 meter frontage, that one's 224, that one's 392, that one's 616, that one's 840. Interestingly, that one's 840, that's 884. That one's wider, it's supposed to hold more. But it holds less. I don't know why, but it does. Then we go up to 38 meter. Uh, this one is 240. This one's 420 items. That one's 660 items, and that one is 900. If we go to place one, I will scroll through the options. If you look to the left, change color on the D-pad. We can scroll through the various different color options available. There we go. They will do the same thing, but just sort of put them all out so you can see them, the size of them, that kind of thing. So that's the E-Tunnel Double Straight Leg Arc by DD Mod Passion. Next over here, we have got the Machine Hall with Workshop. This is by Agra Modding. It is 24.89 megabytes download, 51 slots on console, 197, 397,386 to buy. This does come with solar panels on the roof and it will earn you 440 pounds, euros or dollars per calendar month, depending on what you've got them set on. Under build mode, and I think this was sheds as well, there we go. Slot count will come down to three. So from 51 down to three for any subsequent one. As you can see, solar panels on the roof. I don't think we've got a colour option on this, no. Uh, so, we can't go in the main door that way. We can go in the side door. We open the side door and go in. Now, we do have lighting for all over the place here. So, lighting here turns on the outside lights. Lighting here 
turns on or off the shed lights that's in there and then the lighting switch over here does the workshop lights so then got the workshop trigger just here and if we open the front door because I turned on the outside lights we should see outside lights are on then we've got the doors at the side this smaller door being going out of. we've got a smaller door at this end and then we've got larger panel doors that will open and close in various different directions so you can get into all the various different bits as you wish large storage shed plenty of room we have got a fuel tank this end which is a 10,000 litre which you can refill in various increments and there is a there's a little bit of an upstairs it's quite narrow it's just a sort of a I don't know if you're going to get away with storing anything or much up there it's got a lot going on that that's the machine hall with workshop by Agra Modding. Behind we've got the fermenting silo. Part of the update to Alma, Missouri by Celebuki was to add this in. Um, now on Alma, this will do alfalfa and stuff like that. Now this mod is, is more standardised for anywhere you want to put it. So as I've said, it's by Celebuki. 7.6 megabytes download, 13 slots on console, 200,000 to buy. As you can see, bottom right, it will hold chaff, hay or grass, a million litres of each. And then you can convert that over to silage with a little bit of digestate as a byproduct. This you will find under buildings, productions and factories. Just there, slot count will come down to one. So, come over to it. Manage production. It's not actually you gain from this because you're getting, it's a hundred, the recipe is a hundred. You get 95 of that is silage and 30 is digestate. So you're actually gaining on the recipe. If I turn all three of those on, because the recipes are 2,400 cycles and then you've got um, 100 in to over 100 out, you can already see on the right hand side, this is going up fairly quickly. You have that running all night. Loads of silage with digestate as a byproduct. What's not to like? Putting in is done here. You can do it with buckets, you can do it with conveyors, or you can just pull alongside with the trailer. The trigger will come up. Around this. Is it around the back here? Around the back here. One is for your silage, which I think is this one, and then this one is for your digestate. What's that for putting in? Well, that's curious. No, that's not. It's a tip thing. That's for, yes, for digestate. It was in my mind. That's the fermenting silo by Celebuki. Next, we've got the enclosed cow husbandry pack. This is by Lancy Boy. I thought Lancy Boy wasn't modding anymore. That, that was the last I'd heard, but anyway. This has got four items in it. We've got two cow barns and then we've got two barns that come with this. Uh, we've got a green and a blue in each of them. So 17.16 megabytes download. Each cow barn will hold 100 cows. Um, they are 18 slots each for these. Now, interestingly, the blue one is 130,000 to buy. The green one is 125,000 to buy. I don't know why. Then the sheds are 15 slots each. Um, the green one is 96,000 to buy and the blue one's 95. I don't, know, I don't know why the prices are different. It's curious. Slurry comes out here. Feed goes in here. Dialog box is around the front and your bedding, so straw can come in the front here as well. Now this will give you slurry and it will give you manure. So there's a manure pit around the side here that we can take out from. On the end of these, we do have this box here. Now this one came up with turn off shed lights automatically, but we can open the door in there open the door on there and we can turn on or off our shed lights now on the other one I had to open the doors before that trigger came up and the other one's exactly the same and we come around here and we come to the sheds nicely detailed nice size light switch on the inside here I turn off our shed lights on or off big old capacity Nice animations, nice nice sound effects as well. I don't think you can open those up, actually. Well, but like I said, with this one, when I come over to it, I didn't get the option for the light switch. I had to open the door first, then the light switch option comes up. So it's weird how the first one did the first, the second one didn't. Unless that's the difference in price, maybe. I don't know. Curious, isn't it? Come around to the side there from the closing. 
All the other triggers are exactly the same. 100 cows in each, and then we've got the other shed there. Under build mode, under animals, under cows. So as I said, the blue barn, which is that one, 130 grand. The green barn, uh, sorry, green cow shed, 125,000. I don't know why the green paint's worth less and the blue paint's worth more, don't know. Uh, and then we come out of there and we go to our buildings. And we go to our sheds. So our green roofed one there is 96,000. And that one's 95. Slot counts come down to one on all of them. They're not bad size either for 100 cows. So that's the enclosed cow husbandry by Lancy Boy. Next we have got, and this is a peculiar, we've got the old lizard trailer pack by Zagorge Modding. Um, the picture in the mod tub shows two different trailers. The pictures show two different trailers. I can only find one. I've been all over the place, but I can only find one. And I've got two here, but that's two variations on the same trailer. Um, they're supposed to be a smaller one as well. Anyway, regardless. 2.53 megabytes download, three slots on console. You'll find this under tools and trailers just there. So that's the old trailer. They're supposed to be a small and a large. And I've been all the way through the trailers. I've been through the miscellaneous. I've been all over the place. That's the only one I can find. Um, so we've got configuration standard. You've got bale trailer, which you could use as a logging trailer because it has straps as well. So potentially a small logging trailer. Then you've got bale trailer like that, which has the back end open. If you have it in that configuration, yeah, it's weird. Or bale trailer like that. So yeah, those um, uprights open or those uprights. Then we go back to standard. Triangle, yes or no, don't have to have that on. If you have a standard configuration that holds 2,800 litres of product, whatever it might be, we've then got main colour, anything on that pallet there. Rim colour, anything on that pallet there. If I keep going through the options, it just takes me back around again. It's very strange. I'll show you. I'll go down to miscellaneous. I can't think where else. I tried low loaders. I've tried... What about dollies? No... I, I can't think. What about animal? Ah, oh, that's not animal transport, is it? Nope. Animals? I, I just can't imagine where else it would be. Yeah, if we scroll through all the stuff I've got here, we come on to some of the other trailers we're going to look at in just a moment. But no, don't know. So anyway, that's the 2,800 litre capacity. This is the bale trailer with the, the multiple supports. Straps can be done manually or from in cab if you wish. I've got um, the liftable bales pack so I can, uh, he says. Oh, that strap there. There we go. So we can lift the bale on and off if we want. So that's in bale configuration. And if we jump into here, start that up. Unload here. Like so. That's the Lizard Old Trailer Pack by Zagorge Modding. Next we've got the Lizard Brazilian Trailer Pack by Vinco Mods. There are three in this pack. Just hook up to the first of them. And they look like this. Various different options. 9.19 um, megabytes download. We've got three slots. Four slots. Four slots. Single axle. Double axle. Double axle. These don't have a capacity, these do have straps, so they are for things like bales, pallets, logs, anything like that you want to put in, and there's no capacity for um, any crops or anything like that to put in them. Um, as you've already seen, they are under miscellaneous. The options are the same on all three. So 1,500 for the small LG 400, the LG 1200, 3,000, the LG 3,000, 6,000. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway. uh, slot counts all come down to one. So we've got the option of standard we've got standard two standard three i think i've got one of each because there's three trailers you've got support yes or no that's the same on each then you've got fender you've got one or two and then back to standard now i'm gonna put one on because you'll see why in a moment then you've got vehicle short hitch pin ball then long hitch pin ball then back again chassis color actually changes the um fenders so if I change that colour now, there you go, so that changes the fender colour, but if you come off of that standard, was it silver? Yeah, that row there, you'll lose the sort of the um, checker plating that's on there. It will just go to, if you go to a regular colour, it just goes to flat 
Then we've got a rim colour option, anything on that palette. Like that, and a license button from there too. And as I said, that is the same for all of them. For our wheel setups, support, fender options, short and long hitches, chassis colour, rim colour is the same on all three. Uh, so what I'll do is show you on this one. Straps, on or off, these can be done manually as well. Then under L1, R1 and right stick, up or down, opens at the back. Like that. There you go. That's the Lizard Brazilian Trailer Pack by Vinco Mods. Next we've got the Box Tipper. Now this unfortunately, I saw it and thought, oh that's cool with the new crop types, that's brilliant. It still only does potato and sugar beet. This one doesn't do the premium expansion uh, carrot, parsnip or red beet. It might get an update to do those. I'm not saying it won't. Um, the box holds 4,000 litres and then you've got the box tipper. I've had a few different versions of this over a while. 7.65 megabytes download, two slots on console for the tipper and one slot for the palette. It's by Nico Pixies. You'll find it under... Oh, where did I find it? Oh, it was under telehandlers. I was going to go to potatoes. Under telehandler tools. Just there. Slot count will come down to one. So the box tipper. But under telehandler holds you to tools, you can then change it from telehandler to wheel loader. Those are the two options. Main colour, anything on that palette. That's the option for that. Then we go to our objects, along to our palettes. Until we get to that one there, fillable pallet box tipper mod, 4,000 litres. As I said, slot counts one, but it only does potato and sugar beet at the moment. Um, there's no options on it, you just like you can lease these, you don't have to buy them. 53 to lease, 1,050 if you want to buy. So, let's hopefully I get this right. L1, R1, and right stick side to side opens up the top, which you need to do first. So, you open up the top like that. You then want to tip it down just a little bit line up if you can onto the pallet and then you can attach it so you attach it on the l1 r1 and right stick i can close that down which will hold it in place i can raise that up i can do all my usual whatever it is i want to do like so but then under r1 and right stick side to side i can then tip the whole assembly the natural mechanism on this is fantastic i don't actually have to tip my bucket just r1 and right stick side to side and that assembly is your box turner Oh, well, that's interesting. It's not giving me an option to unload here, so I'm assuming it will only work um, over a cell point. I thought that would just tip on the floor. Well, that's curious. Just bear with me a second. I'm going to put a cell point in. Okay. Let's try that over a cell point. There we go. I would imagine into a silo that you can store potatoes in, maybe. But it, it probably just won't let me tip onto the floor. Could be the map. Could be that it's not intended to. But 4,000 litre capacity. It's pretty cool. And what we want to do is drop that down. And we detach it. Then uh, L1, R1. Open that up. Get that angle just right, and away we go. Job done. Cool. That's the box tipper by Nico Pixies. Next, we have got. Oh! We got some John Deere This by Custom Modding. We have got the John Deere S600 series combines and the John Deere FD600 series headers, all by Custom Modding. Um, the headers are 12 slots, 12 slots and 15 slots. You'll see those in a moment. The combines are 36 slots each. And they are separate because we go up in the classes of them. There are some subtle differences between them. And there's a few different options with regard to the rear axle width. The bigger the combine goes up, the wider the rear, rear axle width goes. Plus pipe lengths, the larger the harvester goes, the longer the pipe length option it gives you. 
and the larger the combine option you go for, the larger the um, grain container. I have got numbers on them. The numbers are from one to nine. That's the same on all of the models. So some of the options I'll show you, some of the options are the same. As far as I can tell, all of the tire and track options are the same on all of them. Apologies if you found one or two that aren't, but as far as I can see, they all look the same for tire options but there are some other subtle differences these mods are incredibly well made incredibly well detailed as custom modding stuff usually is so here we go to our vehicles we go to our harvesters out on the end here so we start with the s660 the s670 s680 and the s690 as you can see they go up in price slot counts will come down to two on each of them not down to one so with the s660 We've got the option of brand. We've got Lizard, Wheel Brand, Michelin, John Deere, back to Lizard, then the first Lizard we started with, and then, no, first, second, there's actually three Lizards. Yeah, so that's one we start with. Then we go Michelin, John Deere, Lizard, Lizard, Lizard. That's the one we started with. Right. Um, and that's the same on all of them. So apologies if I scroll through these and we, we come back to the same ones, but we should have, under the first set of Lizard, we have got that 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 and back under michelin we have got that 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 and back under john deere we've got track that 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 i think lizard wants a power flex tracks we've got that option that option then we go to that one there with the high idler that option and back the third lizard option We've got that, 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 that. Then we go on to singles at 900s, singles at 1100s, 1250s, 1250s in that configuration, 1400s, and then back. I think that's it. Then we're back to the start. Yeah, then axle length, we've got standard, 128 inch, 132, 136, 140, 144, 148, 152. That's the same on all of them. Um, then we've got spreaders. We've got tailboard, twin disc, power cast, back to tailboard. Exhaust, we've got standard exhaust system or Brazilian exhaust system. Then we've got numbers, as I said, one through nine. Then we've got oversized signs. Let's put one on the front as well. No, just on the back yes or no then we've got the patriot schemes so you can go for usa canada brazil or australia if you don't want them on you don't have to have them on uh, window tint standard right the way through 75 percent back again then we've got attaches on the back no or yes for an attacher grain tanks on this first one we start for 10,600 with frame without tarp still 10,600 10,600 with tarp 10,600 foldable 16,210 then 10,600 back to static small again then we've got pipe 22 foot pipe one two three just changes the nozzle on the end 26 foot one two three 28 foot one two three back to 22 foot license plate option on there too that's the first one s670 options on tires are exactly the same i'm not going to go through all those again axle length was the same 128 through 252 inch tailboard um twin disc and power cast is the same on all of them exhaust standard and brazilian same on all numbers the same oversized signs are the same same options for your patriotic flags window tints the same attaches the same now a grain tank uh, this i think this might be this oh no we've got a slightly large one as we move up so static small is the same uh with tarp with sorry, without tarp is the same with tarp same all 10,600 then we go to the foldable small then 16,210 like that 19,733 like that the xl then we go back to static small static pipe i think it's the same 22 foot 26 foot 28 foot yep and back again and then license plate then we go to our s680 again options are all, I'm, I'm gonna just double check one of these actually i take back what i said i think on the s680 and the next one up we have 
under the lizard options because we go lizard michelin john deere lizard lizard the second lizard is power flex tracks but the third one i'm pretty sure we go through some different options on twins so yeah we go wide on twins before we go to singles seven tens eight hundreds then we've got single 900 then we go to twins at 900 11s twins at 11 yeah so this does have some larger options single 1250s i don't think it does double 1250s does it there you go and back to there again all the other options are the same until we get down to grain tank this starts at 14,100 14,100 without tarp 14,100 with tarp then we go to a 17,623 14,1 at foldable and then we've got a 16,210 and a 19,733 there we go and back to our standard uh, all the other options are the same. I'm pretty sure 28 foot is the longest pipe length. Yep. Then we go on to the final. Yes, 690. I'm going to double check this final. Go back one on the entire options because I think this is the same. We've got a lot of options on the doubles. But all the other options, yeah, 800s, 900s, 1100s. Yep. Guaranteed you'll have a scroll through one of them and you're going to find something you like. Whether it's singles, whether it's doubles, whether it's tracks. There's some cool options. And then back to there again. Axle lengths again. Go up to 152. Everything else is the same. And then we get to our grain tank. This one's a 14.1 standard. Without a tarp, with tarp. Then we go to a 17.623. 14,100 foldable. 16210 XL with a 19733 tip up, and then we go to the monster, the DW grain tank, which only the very large one has 24,667 litres. Then we go back to our static, all the other options are the same. Oh, yeah, headers that took absolutely ages. Um, headers options are the same on all three. Um, we've got the 630FD at 9.1 metres, 635FD at 10.7, and the 640FD at 12.5. Options on all of them. We've got the option for crop dividers, yes or no. Reel over, yes or no. Crary wind system, yes or no. It sounds brilliant with that on. And then we've got numbers, standard 1 through 9 to match up with your harvesters. And there's a number on the back down the bottom. And if you can see that, if we scroll through, you see the numbers changing there. To the left-hand side of the header. So you can match them up. And the same options on all of them. Yes or no, yes or no. Crew wind system, yes or no. Single flow or dual flow. Actually, did that one have the dual flow? No, just single flow. The longer one has single. It's just the very longest one that has the double. There you go, dual flow. To get it right out to the other end. And the same with the numbers. So I've got the shorter um, headers this end. Longer head as that end. Let's hop in this one. I'll, I'll start up one with the query wind system so you can do that as well because it sounds absolutely brilliant. So, that's how the harvester comes, like that. Hook the header up, like that. Now, the header folds or unfolds. It comes like that, folded. Unfold the header, does that. And then we do have the option for adjustment of our reel. But when you fold the header back up, it puts it back to its original setting. So when you unfold it again, if you need to adjust the reel, you need to adjust it again. It doesn't remember the setting. We'll lower that down. We've then got on the harvester itself, R1 and right stick up and down, closes all that up. Now, when I say closes all that up, we've got the panel this side, we've got the panels that side, and we've got the rear step. So if I do that again, it does all of it on one control which is pretty cool we've then got L1 right stick side to side does the door like that we've got unfold harvester I love the way everything opens up 
very cool. Pipe out. Now, some kind of check. That's right. Enable disable straw spoth. No, that's indicators. Beacons. Horn. Lights. Over 1250s, or was it 1400s on this one? Right, now I'm going to go and get one with the query wind system just so you can hear that. If you haven't heard that before, the Brazilian one went for tinted windows. Slightly different options on each one. Went for tracks on that one. They all look fantastic. The level of detail on them is amazing. And I went for the big, big top on this one. Unfold the header. Unfold the harvester. Interior. On all of them. Very cool. So, just going to adjust the reel. While I'm opening and closing the drawer at the same time. Let's turn that on. Hear that? That's the fan on the wind system. I think if you go for the extended pipe, which this one I did, oh I didn't show you the pipe on the final one. I said the pipe lengths all the same. They're not. Hang on. I've just remembered. I was just about to talk about that. On the S690, if we go down to our pipe, sorry, because I'll people people will you know, it will get mentioned. We go 22 foot, 26 foot, 28 foot, and then we go to 28 foot with extender. So that's the 28 foot, that's with an extender on the end, so it does make it longer. <laughs> Which I went for. Now I'm pretty sure it says that with the extender, if I put the pipe out, that will do a 60 foot header. You see how far out that goes, that's absolutely bonkers, isn't it? Really nice harvesters, nice pack, nice pack of headers. Pretty sure custom modding are working their way through the entire range of uh, of John Deere harvesters. <laughs> Lovely. That's the John Deere FD600 series headers and the John Deere S600 series combines by custom modding. They walked into that. Uh, next, we've got this. This is the Deutz Agro Star 6.71 to 6.81 series by DB Modding. 12.44 megabytes download. You know what? I just realised I didn't. Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. The John Deere's we just looked at, the headers were 35.46 megabytes download, the S600 series combines 83.37 megabytes download. I said what the slot counts were, but I didn't say what the download was. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, so the Deutz Agro Star 6.71 to 6.81, 12.44 megabytes download, 12 slots on console. It's quite long, this one. This you'll find under medium tractors. Just there. 80,000 for the base model, slot count comes down to 1. We can have the 6.71 at 160 horsepower or the 681 at 80, 185 horsepower. Those are the two engine options. We've then got Trelleborg, Mitus, Michelin, Nokian, Continental, Vladestein, back to Trelleborg. And the Trelleborg we have got... Mitus, just those two. Michelin, just those two. Nokian, just that. Continental, all of those. Vladestein, just those. Back to Trelleborg. We're going to design uh, standard, left beacon, right beacon, both beacons or none. 
Extra lights, yes or no? We've got Attacher, 30 kilo, 275 kilo, 605, 935, front hydraulic or back. It comes with the PTO as well. Front attacher, we've got no, quick, hower, lizard or off. Front fenders, yes or no. Licence plate, yes or no, with the options for licence plate. Jump in, start it up. Beacons. Lights, I went for the extra lights on the pillars there. That angle out just ever so slightly, so the lighting's pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, that makes a big difference. So that would be your lighting normally. And we're going to those, it has the extra ones on with the out, the outliers. Horn. Then we have got uh, rotate objects up, does the front window. Like that. L1, R1. Left stick side to side does the rear window. Right stick side to side. And up and down to the two side doors. If you want to get a bit of air conditioning. Very nice. There you go. That's the Deutz Agrostar 6.71 to 6.81 series by DB Modding. Next, we've got these. This is the Bura 6105 6135 by Weekend Farmers T4XS. Taxes. A 20.29 megabytes download, 17 slots on console. These you will find under small tractors just there 39,000 for the base model we've got the 6105 25 kilometer an hour 100 horsepower 6105 34 kilometer per hour then we go to the 6135 at 40 kilometers per hour and then it goes up or set changes we've got the 6105 it says in transmission for automatic now i'm i'm running them all the same i haven't got the manual box on i found it doesn't matter which one you go on you can still put your uh, auto box on you can still accelerate and it'll go up through the gears um i haven't noticed any difference so we go through those options onto the 40 kilometers per hour 135 horsepower and back again then you've got wheel brand trelleborg michelin continental mitis vladestein bkt nokian back to trelleborg and trelleborg we've got Those, Michelin, just those, Continental, those, Midas, Vrijstein, BKT, Nokian, back to Trelleborg. I think I went for that, did I, on one of these? Uh, we've got front fender, yes or no. Roll bar, yes in white, yellow, grey or off. So if you want the rollover protection system, you can add that. Toolbox, yes or no, puts the toolbox in the back corner, blue toolbox. Trail hitch, you've got anthracite, or you can have it the same colour as the main vehicle. Front leather attacher, no, hower, stall, back again. Main colour. We've got a few choices here. We've got a couple of blacks, a couple of greens. So that does the main colour of the vehicle. There's a grey as well. And there's a sort of khaki, almost military green there. I think I went for that. Hood colour. We can change. Anything on that palette. Seat colour. Includes a yellow and a red. We can change. Radiator grill colour. Just the inside of there. Rim colour. And license plate. Those are options. So I went for one in the or the lower down engine capacity, and then one that said automatic transmission, and they run exactly the same. They look fantastic, actually. The level of detail is brilliant. Start that. Lights. There's no beacons. I think the higher up you go because this one is the 
what kilometre per hour was this one? This was the lower one. The other one's the 40. So this is doing 22 miles now. I think the other one goes up to 26. On tractor? Like I say, details amazing. Then that one. Yeah, 26 miles now. I do like the mirrors. I mean, they're a long way out, but they do work. Sounds brilliant. There we go. That's the Bura 6105-6135 by Weekend Farmers T4XS. Which brings you on to the last of the mods for Friday the 24th. We might get some of the weekend, you never know, it sometimes happens. This is the Massey Ferguson 274S and Landini 6550 pack by Blower. 27.17 megabytes download, 13 slots each, doesn't matter which one you go for. We've got a two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive in each, so the Massey Ferguson's and then the Landini's. I have to say, I love, I absolutely love a Massey Ferguson, but I do like that. I'm liking the Landinis, I'm not going to lie. So these you'll also find under small tractors. Now, the options are the same pretty much on all of them, um, but two-wheel drive in the Massey 274S. Front weight, yes, no, that's it. Engine setup, 60 horsepower, 66, 75. Then back. Wheel brand, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, BKT, Vredestein, back again. And Trelleborg. Michelin. I think it's the same with all of them. Continental. BKT. Vredestein. Back to Trelleborg again. Interior setup, design one is the paint colour. Design two is... It blackens the inside rather than the paint colour of the outside. Rear fender design, we got that or that. Beacon, no. Left, right, both or off. Front loader attacher, quick, hower, no. Main colour, just the chassis. You've got standard, a lighter grey or a black. And licence plate. If we go for the four wheel drive, the only difference with this is. The engine horsepower is the same. Tire chain, tire choices will look a bit different um, because when you go through these options, the wides, rears, and then we go into twins. Obviously, on the other one, it didn't put twins on the front and narrows as well. It kept the usual two-wheel drives on the front, but obviously this is changing all of them. So, but other than that, the actual tire options are the same. It just looks different because it's a four-wheel drive. Interior setup, the same front fender. Oh, now this one, because we've got four-wheel drive, has got a front fender on it, which you can remove, yes or no. And then the rear fender still stays the same with that option. Beacon, the same, front loader options, and main colour, the same. Then we move to the Landini two-wheel drive. Same options on weight. This one has got a higher horsepower. It starts at 65, 70, and 80. So the Landini goes up to an 80 horsepower. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Tire choices again. They're the same as we go through. Yep. And we've got the same companies. Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, BKT, Vredestein, back again. Interior setup is the same. Exterior paint colour or black. Rear fender, yes or no. Like I said, it's pretty much the same. Beacon options, front loader attacher options. There's one difference down here. We've got main colour does the chassis underneath. It starts with a lighter one and then gets darker. Um, and then we've got design colour. We've got blue or grey. That does around the front there. So around the front, this is Landini. Blue or grey. Which other one didn't have an option to change. And then licence option. And then the four-wheel drive option. All the options are the same. Horsepower is the same. 65, 70 and 80. And again, this will look slightly different because obviously you've got four-wheel drive. So you've got your knobbly tyres all round. But all the other options are exactly the same as the four-wheel drive on the other one. So when we get to our fenders, we've got front fender option, yes or no, because it's four-wheel drive, and then the rear fender options again. So We'll jump in the two-wheel drive of this one. Beacons. 
Left stick side to side does the door. Right stick up and down does the rear window. Those are the only options for that. Interior. It's very cool. And then the Landini. I'll do the full drive on that one. Options are the same for door and rear window. So we'll leave it open. Lovely. Load of mods, loads of options, loads of packs. That's it for Friday the 24th of November. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks for watching.